Okay, now our website right now does not look like what we saw when we were installing WordPress, and it might look disappointing. In this video, I'll show you how to rectify that because when you install WordPress, essentially what happens is it just thinks you want to create a blog website. So if you view our website right now, this is what it looks like just blog posts actually just one demo blog post right there with all this da -da 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 stuff right now let's actually go ahead and customize that before i do that uh generally the default thing that shows when you do pages and stuff in wordpress is that it shows the dates the stuff was created and all that i do not like that and i don't think it would also so let's actually go ahead and customize that a little bit so i go over to settings down here and i go to permalinks Permalinks are what URLs, what website address your users go to. You see, this is the default one that was created. It takes it by date, which is kind of weird, except you just primarily on a blog. But you're not creating, you want to create a website in this case. So I'll use post name. So that if I do any post like today is a good day, it goes demo.wp, my website slash today is a good day. Now that's what I want. So I'll save that. And one thing I need to check before I go on is the number of pages that are created. If there's any page that was created when I was installing, I want to clear that out. So there was a sample page. I don't think I need it. So I'll just bend it. There's a privacy policy page also. I think I want to bend that also. I don't want anything. Basically, I want to go fresh. So I'll bend that and I have no pages left. But you see, I have no pages but i still see this blog post where does it come from this comes from the post section of my website i go over there to the posts and then i can bin that also oh let me actually go ahead and edit it let me just do a quick edit hello I'll do the slug. What exactly is a slug? A slug is what shows on the URL. Okay. So uncategorized, maybe I'll leave that for now. I'll leave that uncategorized right now. When it comes to customizing your blog posts, I will show how to do that. But right now, let's just have that right there. Uh, one thing I can, I think I'm going to do, let me duplicate that uh, so that I can have at least two blog posts to show on the website on page. So that comes with the EA duplicate plugin well the other duplicator plugins right there but i think i'll just use the default one that comes with the website now it's becoming a little bit sluggish but i wouldn't mind right now so i just do quick edit now because there's another one called hello there's another page that has a slug hello this will probably be hello 2 if i click on quick edit oh there's actually no slug so i'll say hello v2 for this that's double L, not double E. Uncategorized, yes. I make this published. We'll talk about blog posts later on. Now let's go customize our pages. Now I can decide to add these pages from the pages sidebar, or I can go to the customize section of the websites to actually get this done. I think I. At least for my own page, I can go from the customized page. So I go over down here to appearance and I go over. Oh, there's a starter template for this theme. I didn't know that. So let's check that out. Okay, I can select my page builder. I'm using Elementor. Oh, this can this is trying to give me some template kind of for my website which i think will be nice so i don't even have to do so much work i think i was going churchy before these don't look churchy do they no they don't i only want to do free free i like free free is good
I'm looking for something that looks churchy. So let me search for church over here. And I think charity comes close to it. So let's check that out. So this is how the pages look like. Looks like something we can work with. Even though not the best of font, but I'm going free so. So let me install the complete site, import the complete site. So what this does for me essentially is it generates my pages for me, generates all the nice little bitty stuff. I click, I think I would like that. So I'll go ahead and install all that. Um, I'm a WordPress. Well, if you're a beginner, you select beginner, but of course I will probably call myself intermediate. I'm not an expert in WordPress, but I just like using it. I'm building this for myself. If you're doing it for a client, you select that. You can do advanced options and uh, next. I can skip this. So it's important stuff now. And I think this is really useful because it just makes my life easier. So I can just start modifying what is created for me. Now, if you're doing personal website, of course, you select personal. I think I'm doing this for an organization. So that is what I'll use. So it's importing all the contents now. Importing is like the sweetest thing you can ever do on your website. Uh, because it just gives you that soft landing to create stuff. So let me view the site now. Just refresh this. Let's see. And tada, we actually have an almost ready website. If this was not a demo, this would have flown, this would have been a website actually. So now it's now falls on us to start customizing stuff to put them where we want them to be. Now I can decide to edit with Elementor right here. I can check out all the other pages. If you look at the URL, you see what we do. It shows right there. And it looks really nice. I think my home page now is ready to go with all the nice templates now. It now falls down to now customizing things. Now, I have not added a blog section. I have not added any other thing. I just used the starter template that was created for me and it looks really beautiful for a start now what it will now come to the rest of the things i need to do basically is customizing and moving stuff around and that i will show extensively in the next video